Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Second Time Around Purses. I just wanted to stop by. I haven't really gotten any new purses except one. Um, but I wanted to hop on and go over the jewelry again. I'm not used to selling jewelry, so I just wanted to show you the pieces I have and some that I've added on. And I have some shoes that I went through um, that are really nice. I have a beautiful pair of Uggs that I just don't wear. And then I have two beautiful men's Lauren by Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirts, long sleeve. I got them for Dean and he didn't like them. So I'm going to offer them up to you guys for a great price because they were $125. That's not what I paid. I had gotten them on sale, but they are very, very good um, shirts. So with that said, um, I am Michelle with Second Time Around Purses. If you can give my video a like, that would be great. And if you could share it, that would be even better. I'm trying to up my subscribers. Um, and anything you like, um, just email me at missianoharris at me.com, which is M-I-S-I-A-N-O-H-A-R-R-I-S at me.com. Write me and let me know the item or the items that you liked and I and also your address so I can calculate shipping. Most of it for the jewelry will just be $5 unless you get one of the bags or one of the items of clothing. Um, and respond to me with your address. And then when I write back, I'll give you my Venmo information along with the total cost, including shipping. Um, so with that said, I don't want to make this too long. I don't have a tape measure for the necklace, for the necklaces. Like I said, I don't usually sell jewelry. And a subscriber of mine suggested it, and I think it's a great idea, so I'm going to go get one um, this week. But this is probably an 18-inch. It probably sits right at your collarbone. It's a gold tone chain, and it's a beautiful um, cameo piece. And it's nice because if you don't want to wear it as a necklace, you can take it off, and you can wear it as a pendant. Okay, so it's gold tone. I think you can see it better this way. So it's a gold tone necklace with the cameo, and this I'm only asking $10 for. This next one is also gold tone. It's beautiful because it's so dainty. I picked it up for me, but it's just not long enough. So this is probably 16 to 18 inches, but it comes down and then it comes to a pendant. And the bottom of the pendant of the pendant is the rose, which I think you can see right there. And then there are little bitty stations throughout the necklace. So this is a good size necklace. It's very dainty, like I said, so it wasn't for me. Um, and this one is $10 um, as well. The next one is a Brighton necklace. Um, I know his name from bags. His bags go for a pretty penny. So I have two Brighton pieces of jewelry. Um, the first one is a long. This is probably going to be 18 to 20 inches because you can just put it right over your head. And it's beautiful. It's silver tone. It has the big silver piece there. And then wood stations. And then there's the colors are mainly blue, white, and brown. So it's a beautiful necklace. I was debating whether to keep this one. I really like it. If it doesn't sell, then I am going to keep it because I love long necklaces. I always say if you have a plain shirt on, just put on a long necklace and there goes your outfit. You're all dressed up. So this is my Brighton Silver Tone Necklace and this one is going to be $30. This next one is just a simple necklace. It's on a suede brown cord. It probably hits right about here. It's pr it looks like it hits right on the neckline. It, it's really pretty. It's a peachy pink color. There is a clasp and it has an extender. And the beads down here are gold. And then it has the large, I think they're uh, plastic, plastic or acrylic. They're definitely not glass. So this one is just $20. So if you liked this one, sorry. If you like this one, you would just write the double layered peach necklace. 
Um, the other one, you would just write the Brighton necklace. And the, da the Dainty Rose Gold necklace, you would just write the Dainty Rose Gold. And then the first one was the Cameo necklace, so you could just write Cameo. Um, these watches were so popular back in the day. I wore this all the time. I had it in white and black. I don't know if you guys remember it. It's by the brand Toy USA. It's not working, so you would have to put a battery in it. I'm not good with that. I don't know how to. But it's a heavy watch. It's ceramic, and it has rhinestones all around the face, which I looked, and there's there are some missing. There's a few. There's like two down here, and there's one over here that's missing. But this is a great watch. It got me through a lot of years. And if you want this one, you would just write the toy watch, and I'm only asking $20 for it. Um, let me mark that one down. What did I say, 20? $20 for it. Okay, give me one second. I've got to check something. Okay, sorry about that, guys. This next one is a long silver tone statement necklace. It's very long. It hits past my breast bone down here. And it's all chain silver. And the pendant is like a dark yellow to a gold color. And it's a pretty necklace. And it is going to be, I think, besides the Brighton, most of the necklaces, I'm going to say, are $20. The Cameo necklace, I did for $10. The Rose Gold necklace with the little rose, I did for $10. Um, the double layered beads, I'm going to do that for $10. And then anything from here on out is going to be $20. So the Brighton long necklace was $20. I apologize, this one's only going to be 10 as well. So if you like that one, you would say the large yellow pendant. Um, so, and when you write me back, write the price I quoted you because I could um, misplace it. Okay, the next one is so pretty. It's gold tone, and it comes all the way down with these stations to a beautiful toggle. It has gold and pink color and a gold, gold little chains. And then here are some classic, uh, cl sorry, crystal, uh, crystally type pieces and glass type pieces. And it's on a gold toe chain and it's very pretty. It would fit right about there. I believe the tassel would hit right about there. Um, it does have a clasp, but it is just I see people doing this when they do jewelry videos, so I think it helps you see it better. So this one would be $15. Okay, this next one is a gold toe chain, nothing fancy, just a crystal that is dark, dark yellow. So it's on a, I can't tell if it's a silver or a gold chain. It actually looks like a silver chain that you can put right over your head and it has the gold tone um, crystal. Okay, so you would write small gold tone crystal if this is the one you want, it will be $10 because the other one was the large um, yellow, yellowy gold um, necklace. So this one you would write the smaller one. Okay. Next on my J Crew necklaces, they will all be $20. This is the first one. It's on, it has an extender. It, they're all on brass or gold um, chain. Isn't this one pretty? It's all your blues, dark blue, light blue. And then it has an off white. And then it has a pop of color with that lime green. This is beautiful. It will sit right at the collar line. Um, but like I said, there is the little extender and all my J Crew necklaces are going to be $20. So this one you would write the dark blue, light blue and lime green J Crew necklace and it would be $20. This next one is a gold 
This next one is about the same length. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. It has grays and purples and oranges and rhinestones. And it would hit right about here as well. It's a beautiful statement necklace for J. Crew. There's your J. Crew. And there's the extender. And all the beads are there. So this one would be $20. You could write the J. Crew purple and gray statement necklace. The next one is really cute too. It's on a gold tone brass type chain. And this one is blue and white and light blue and rhinestones. So I don't want to get confused with the colors. So if you do like this one, this would sit right about here. You would write the J. Crew lime green, dark blue, light blue and white statement necklace. Okay. So that would be the J. Crew dark blue, light blue, lime green and white statement necklace. Here's one that is different. It has like three stations. It's on its brass tone chain. It has an extender. And this one's a little different because it just has three stations. This one's really pretty. So if you want this one, you would write the J. Crew necklace with three stations of light blue, dark blue, and rhinestone. Okay. These are great pieces for the office. They can dress up any neck, any outfit. This one is a really a statement necklace. This one definitely stands out. It has an extender. It's on a brass chain. It has beads all the way from the top to the bottom. And I looked and I don't see any missing. So this one you would write the J. Crew statement necklace with magenta, light blue, dark blue, and rhinestone. Okay, and I would figure it out from there. And once again, that one's only $20. All right, let's switch it from jewelry for a minute because I'm getting parched. Let's switch to this I found and I'm keeping, I'm kicking myself. I wanna keep it. I love Hobo International. It's one of my favorite brands to carry because the leather on their products, I wish I could let you feel this. It's a clutch slash wallet. It's all pleated in the front. It's in great shape. The back has a full, has a pocket that's good size. It does have a black mark right there, a small black mark. It opens by Kiss Lock, which they're known for. And that's your inside. It says Hobo International with your zipper. Then it has all credit card slots here. And then a zipper compartment. And then a bunch more. Oh, here's a pocket here, a large pocket here. Your zipper pocket in the middle. Credit card holders. And another zipper. So you can fit a lot in here. And Hobo International is an expensive brand. I have it on my Poshmark site for $80 because that's what they're going for. But I'm going to offer it to you guys for $50. So if anybody is in love with this as much as I am, um, let me know. Just email me, um, Hobo International Clutch, and it will be yours for $50 and whatever the cost of shipping would be. These I picked up the other day. Um, I think they're like new. I think they've only been tried on in the store um, from the bottoms, I think that, because they look brand new to me. They're Toms. They're a size 10, and they're a slip-on everyday shoe. They're cheetah print, but this is like a slate gray blue with pink cheetah. toes they're in great shape like I said I don't believe these were ever worn so these I am going to sell for $20 let me write that down so if you were interested in these you would just write the Tom's shoes and it would be $20 Let me switch over to this Brighton, this other Brighton piece I have. It comes in this beautiful tin container, and it's a bracelet by Brighton. 
It's a heart toggle bracelet. I think I can take it off the card. Yeah. Once again, I'm sorry I don't have a measuring tape, but this looks to be about standard seven inches. It has the Brighton doggle, still has the price tag on it, which they took it off. But it's a beautiful silver bracelet. Nothing wrong with it. It's brand new. And this one, I'll put it back in the box. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So this would be a perfect gift for Valentine's Day. You'd be giving an $80 bracelet for just $20. So, um, the Brighton bracelet I'm going to do for you guys just for $20, okay? Makes a great Valentine's Day gift. Okay, here is another pair of shoes. These are by Talbot. I picked these up, but they're too narrow for me. They're navy suede with gray leather and brass hardware. The toes are in great shape. The bottom is even in great shape. I don't think these were worn that much at all. They're a size 10. Okay. So if you like these, you would write the Talbots suede, blue, blue suede shoes. Wasn't that a song by Elvis? You would write the Talbots blue suede shoes. They're nice and comfy because they're flats. And they would be twenty dollars. Let me write that. Okay. These next ones. This is the shirt I was telling you about. I have two of them. One in blue. It zips all the way up. It's a double XL. It's beautiful. It's banded at the bottom. It's it's polo, brow florin, and it's a 2XL tall. So this is a beautiful, even the sleeves are banded. And the color is just so pretty. And it's so very soft. So these I'm going to be asking $30 for. I have them listed in my closet on Poshmark for $120 or $130, I believe. So what did I say? I have to list them for at least $40. So polo, $40. And then here's the beige one. It's like an oatmeal. It has the polo guy in brown. Perfect condition. Banded at the bottom. They're both in perfect condition, and they're both 2XL tall. And you got your little guy there, your little polo guy. So this one will be 40 as well, okay? $40. These would make great Valentine's Day gifts for your husband, because I know guys are usually hard to buy for sometimes, if they're that size, of course. These shoes I bought, they're from Express. I took all the tags off on the inside. Honestly, I think I wore them once. Um, they just weren't comfortable. They're a size 10. They're all suede. They have a wedge heel. The heel is in great shape. There's no scuffs. No scuffs on the suede whatsoever. None on the toes. None on the backs or on the side. So these are a beautiful, I would say, orangey rust suede heel. And these will be $20. Okay. These last pair I bought last year and I never used. Um, I didn't like the fur on the side. I thought I would. These are in like brand new condition. They're Uggs. They have the tan color and they have all fur on the outside with exposed buckles. They're in brand new condition. 
There's no scuffs on the toe at all. The bottom is perfect. I wore them maybe twice, if that. Um, they're a size 10. And if you like these, you would obviously write the Ugg boot. Bugs buckles are on both sides. And these I would sell for $50. All right, what am I getting down to? I have a little bit of jewelry left. Um, this is a matching set from Pier One. It's a ring, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. It's adjustable, I just don't feel like adjusting it. You can hear it. And it's the earrings from Pier 1. So they're on the Pier 1 card still. They're dangly earrings and the dangly ring, which is adjustable. And these two go together, and they would be $10. Um, all right. Here's another J. Crew statement -less necklace. This one's n not as statementy. <laughs> It's very pretty. I love these colors. They're like a, the rhinestones are like a blue rhinestone because it's bouncing off of those blue um, cabochon beads and the white. This one's dainty. It's very pretty. It's on a gold toe chain. Chain has the adjuster. So if you like this one, you would write the J. Crew statement let necklace with, I would write the blue rhinestones and the blue and white beads, okay? As much detail as you can, so I know which one you're talking about. Here's another one from J. Crew. This one's really pretty. It has the extender. This one is navy blue with rhinestones. So if you like this one, once again, J. Crew, they're all $20. You would write the J. Crew statement let necklace with the rhinestones and the navy blue uh, rhinestones as well. $20. I'm getting lazy. I don't feel like going through all these. I think I might not. Okay. This rhinestone looks like the other one, so I'm not going to list it. Okay, here's another pretty one. It's on brass tone hardware. The chain is brass tone. It has three stations. One, two, three. And this would hit high up like a collar necklace. So if you like this one, you would do the J. Crew statement necklace with the yellow crystals and the pink, I'm sorry, and the mint green cabochon. So the yellow crystals and the mint green cabochon. These are brand new on card. They say, did by Juicy Couture, they say love Juicy, 20 bucks. Those would make a great Christmas gift. I mean, what's wrong with me? Those would make a great Valentine's Day gift. Here's another pretty bracelet. It's on like a pewter type cord with gold hardware. It just opens here. It's a magnet and it has pretty little beads. So if you like this one, you would write, um, you would write the dark gray magnetic bracelet. This one will be $10. The dark gray magnetic bracelet. This is a pretty one. This is all tortoise shell. Double. It's doubled. And then it has a ribbon. Okay. So you can look, make it shorter or longer. It's all tortoise shell. So if you like this one, you would write the tortoise shell necklace. And this one will be uh, $10.
That's a great price for that. Let me write that down. All right. We're getting to the end. Here's another good statement necklace. It's on three waxed cords. Actually, more than that. There's a bunch of wax cords here. There's an extender, and it has a hammered gold piece at the bottom. So it would sit on your neck like that. And this will just be $10. It's a great statement necklace. So if you want this one, you would just write black suede necklace with hammered gold tone piece. Sorry, that's a lot, but that's the only way I'll remember it. I'm writing hammered gold tone piece myself. And it will be $10. And that, I believe is it so we went over the shoes one pocketbook a bunch of jewelry and then the two really nice shirts from ralph lauren so if you're interested in any just email me at missiano harris at me.com which is m-i-s-i-a-n-o-h-a-r-r-i-s at me.com make sure you include your address um so i can right back to you what the total cost would be including shipping um so i can get back to you in a timely manner and then get the packages out to you right away so hopefully i'll have some bags soon i plan on going this weekend cross your fingers i'll find some and until then take care of yourself and i hope to get some emails from you guys take care